At the preliminary budget, which was presented to you by Masano in February, uh, she presented a level service, basically a status quo budget, which keeps everything the same as it was in the previous year. Then in the month of March, um, the schools had their budget hearings, um, and we got final numbers from all of your schools. And um, the budget deficit came down to about 277,510. The town departments and local schools have seen huge reductions in their operating budgets over the last two years. But yet we are expected to provide the same level of service. My number one priority right now is public safety. We are required to respond within a reasonable amount of time for a 911 call. Whether folks pass an override or increase funding, at the end of the day, people expect that if you call 911 that someone is going to respond. The second priority, which is also a high priority, are your local schools. The children of Plainville deserve the same level of education as the counterparts, as their counterparts in Rentham and Norfolk receive. The third is collecting revenue. Without the appropriate staff to collect and manage that money, we have an inability to appropriately fund number one and number two. One of the things that's included in what Jean gave you is $50,000 to go to OPEB. Second thing I would do is I would take the second gaming debt payment. Uh, I would make that payment in the fall like you did last year. I would recommend that rather than funding the police cruises out of the budget at the annual town meeting, you move those to the fall town meeting and you pay cash for those out of free cash. The result of those changes would put you in balance and also give you a surplus of about 130, you know, just over 137,000. My recommendation, the action that I would recommend that you take is that you increase your police department budget by that amount. You know, I think the question was asked whether or not the cannabis money from the new Apotho facility was included in those revenue estimates. Now that they are operational, um, we feel comfortable that you can include that revenue estimate and DOR would accept it. So we're guaranteed the floor of 300,000. So I would increase your revenue estimates by that 300,000. I would recommend that you take 116,000 and increase the school budget from what they requested. I would also recommend that as of July 1st, you fund your second ambulance. Next up, uh, we have a pretty significant free cash goal for the fiscal year 22 closeout. We've talked a lot at our meetings on um, budgeting appropriately and trying to close out and have appropriate free cash. The budget uh, that Jean has at this time is about 1.2 million for your closeout at fiscal year 22. So I would recommend you um, increase your local receipts by about 200,000, which would reduce the expected free cash that you would attain in fiscal year. 2022 to, again, at least a million dollars. That would bring your budget balance up to 226,000. What I would recommend you do with that money is you restore the parks director's salary so that it's all fully taken out of the operating budget rather than the revolving funds. I would recommend that you restore some of the salary cuts that were taken. Um, those moves would put your budget balance at $4,000, which is a balanced budget. So just some final remarks, even with all these adjustments, the town is still operating well below an appropriate and stable level. We have less first responders, less teachers, less DPW workers, less financial and less administrative staff. The town departments and local school budgets are still going to be over 4% lower than they were four years ago. Um, I know folks like to kind of point the finger at, at local government in particular, and think there's a tremendous amount of waste and overinflated budgets. Um, but if you look at Plainville, those specific you know, town departments and the local school budgets, you're lower than you were four years ago.